in today's video i will show you how to read sms from a user's device and display it inside a flat list first things first like this uh, feature is not supported on ios due to privacy issue apple does not allow any app to read a uh, user's messages or sms uh, but this is uh, possible only on android uh, right now uh, so yeah this uh, video will be only about android so uh, i will be using the new architecture of react native for this so what you will have to do is you will have to go to first create a react native project then go to android uh, search for gradle dot properties and make this as true next uh, we will be using uh, turbo modules for this so if you are interested you can follow the turbo modules documentation as well from react native because i will be copying a lot of code from the documentation itself and currently uh, my app is still building so i will show you the output at the end so first what you will have to do is you will have to create this folder called rt and read sms uh, also one more thing uh, let me okay let me delete this app because i will show you it from the start okay and is it still building yeah it's still building uh, so yeah first create a folder called rt and read sms inside that create a package dot json and uh, firstly i have copied everything from the docs only this name has been changed uh, this name has been changed and this has been changed and package name has been changed next create a js inside that create native read sms dot ts typescript file and again i have copy pasted everything from docs uh, the only change is I have refactored the method to call it as read SMS and we will get a string. Actually, we will uh, add all the mobile number as well as the SMS content inside a list on the native side and then we will convert it back to a string, send it to React Native side as a string, and then again we will convert convert it back to a list. So here I'm uh, calling read SMS and this has been changed as well. And here you can see I'm passing promise of data string next uh, inside android i have created build.gradle again i have copy pasted everything from docs only changes this apply pl plugin kotlin android this namespace has been changed as well as i have added this kotlin standard lib of 1.8.20 as well next inside src uh, create all this folder main java com rt and read sms first create read sms package.kt again copied from docs only this package name has been changed this name has been changed and i have changed this over here as well like read sms module over uh, all these lines next i have created read sms module now as uh, like you might have noticed in my previous video as well we will need to uh, call register for activity result and as of november 2023 uh, like the turbo modules does not uh, like it's very difficult to write register for activity result inside a turbo module because we are creating a separate npm uh, module like this rt and read sms is a separate and uh, npm module we are not directly writing our code inside the main android folder otherwise it would have been easy that's why i'm using this hack of reading uh, internet message i know internet uh, sorry internet permission i know internet permission is by default given we don't need to ask it explicitly but this is the only hack which i could come up with because here you can see in read sms i'm asking for the uh, internet permission over here and this will give a callback to the main activity so inside main activity i can use register for activity result and again uh, like yeah so uh, you can copy this code next inside android go to build.gradle firstly add apply plugin kotlin android next uh, you will have to add uh, this kotlin standard lib as well and here also you need to add this kotlin ktx as well as fragment ktx next inside src main android manifest.xml make sure you add this permission internet this telephony uh, feature as well as we require the read sms permission next inside this build.gradle add this kotlin version of 1.8.20 as well as this class path of kotlin version uh, okay the app is ready uh, i will just finish this quickly next inside java uh, convert this uh, java file to kotlin file like you can open the android folder inside android studio and just open this file and inside at the top menu you will see like convert java file to kotlin file or you can just google search how to do this next once we have converted so here we are again ask uh, uh, using the same internet permission thing and here i have created a list which will contain all the mobile number as well as the sms body 
and if you come off so first callback which you get from the turbo modules is over here so we once everything is okay and if all permissions are granted and i have created a helper method for all permissions granted then here you can see i am requesting for the read sms permission and uh, this will give a callback over here so once the permission has been granted we call read sms otherwise i am just displaying a toast message similarly over here as well and uh, inside read sms here you can see i am first taking a cursor for telephone sms content uri then i am just looping over our cursor and i am getting the address as well as the body and i am adding it to our list once we get it i am just creating a context over here and sending it back to the react native side in form of a uh, key called result and i am closing the cursor as well over here next uh, what you will have to do is uh, you will have to open your terminal go to the root of your react native project and then run this command once you do that you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to read this command re run this command sorry and here you will have to change rn app to whatever your project name is my project name is rn app that's why i'm using it over here over here as well as over here followed by the folder name which we have created once you do that then you will have to cd to the main android folder and then you will have to run this command so this will do code generation for our turbo model once you have done all that uh, you can import it something like this and here you can see i'm using an i have created an use state of list as well as i'm created a use effect and i'm listening for this particular key and once we get it it will be in form of string right so we will have to remove that uh, square bracket at the start and at the square bracket at the end so that's what i'm doing over here and i'm uh, splitting it in the form of comma and i'm uh, setting it to our list and if it is removed I, and inside return i am removing all the listeners which we have and here i have just created a button and i am calling a read sms functionality uh, from our turbo module and here you can see i have just created a flat list and passing uh, data as a list and just displaying it in form of text uh, over here inside main activity i can show you that i am here i am adding it as sender whatever is the mobile number address would be the mobile number and message is the body if you don't need this message as well as sender you can remove it if you want to and now showing the output to you guys so if i click on read sms uh, there is some bug in react native i'm not sure what exactly is the issue because i am using the same native code in flutter and uh, native android as well and it works the bug is that once i click on read sms if i click on allow it does not read my messages i don't know why uh if i click on read sms again then it is able to read my message and if you see like this is the first message okay bye second message is hello and these are the two messages which are present uh, inside my uh, messages app so i will show you that as well so here you can see these are the two messages so this is the bug in react native i don't know why it is occurring like i will show you what happens is uh, like the callback comes over here when i request the permission for for the very first time it comes over here and i think it comes over here as well and then it stops i don't know why this is not called um, i mean this is called uh, but uh, this is granted is not uh, like i'm not seeing any logs over here as well as i don't see any logs over here as well if it had failed then it at least should have displayed a toast message which we, which we didn't see so i'm not sure what exactly is the issue i think this is a react native specific issue because i didn't face any issue in flutter and uh, native android given that i'm using the same bit of code uh, but yeah i guess you have to press two times maybe uh, it might get resolved in future versions of react native um, i am not really sure uh, but yeah that's it thank you for watching bye